Okay, so today we're going to do a pot tweak on a PS1. Um, I modded this the other day with the one chip, as you might have seen. Um, but it slow booting discs, it boots them. And when it comes to an FMV, it can be quite choppy. So I'll just show you an FMV. Let me get a pad plugged in. Right, so let's uh, power it up and hold the disc close button. It's built in there. Uh, NTSC American game, PAL uh, system, so you get the SCEE. But you can see it's quite slow on this screen um, to actually boot the game. When I'm putting the originals in, they boot a lot quicker. So it's just struggling to read the discs. So let's, um, when it comes up, we'll pick New Game and we'll let it play the opening movie. So, New Game. And we'll let this movie play through. And then we'll pot tweak the laser and we'll try to play this movie again. So basically, I beat the first disc in this game the other day, and every FMV is like this with skipping. No skips. So, right, that'll do. You can see that it skips. So, what I'm going to do is going to uh, power off the PlayStation and unplug the power cable. Just remove that disc. We're going to remove our laser unit so we can pot tweak it. So. Just release that big tape. Remove the Rolex gently. And remove the laser. Right, so for week we need our multimeter. Um, we want it on to the ohm setting at 2000, like so. Um, it's a good idea to calibrate your multimeter, just make sure it's still working. So I've got here a 220 ohm resistor. So if we measure the resistance across it, if our multimeter is working, it should be at 220. So let's see what we get. 219, so that multimeter is pretty bang on, 218, 219. It's like one ohm off, which is pretty good. So this is our laser unit. If you can see here, this little thing that looks like a screw is a potentiometer or a pot. So what we want to do is we want to increase the uh, lower the resistance so it has an easy time reading it. You can see underneath, there's two points either side of the pot. So we're going to put our probes to either side of those little points and the multimeter will read out what the resistance currently is. So let's get our two probes and our multimeter is giving us a reading of uh, like 1164 let's do that again 1164 right so it's clockwise to um, increase a pot and anti-clockwise to decrease it let's see if our screwdriver will fit so I'm going to turn it like less than a millimeter about the, the a hair th a hair's thickness clockwise right and then I'm going to retest it let's see what it was at, at now we load it to 1124 so we didn't lower it much I'm going to turn it about a hair's width again and then we're going to test it again one 
1036 so we've taken off about 130 ohms so what we'll do is we'll test boot it there and see what we get in the same spots. It didn't seem as bad as the first time, right? I think I might take it down a little bit more to a thousand, so it will be again. We've had less, less skips, but we still had a couple of skips. So, power off. And we'll try again, just lowering it a bit more. What were we at? One one three four. Let's just double check. One zero three four. I'm going to take it down a fraction more. And see what we're at now. Nine four two. So we've taken down about another hundred. Just under a hundred, so we'll give that a test. Let's see how it goes with the movement. Thank you.